Okay, without fail, every time I go to film, I feel like someone is mowing the lawn. And um, in the neighborhood in which I live, the HOA is con in charge of um, managing the landscaping. So I feel like they come five days a week between 9 and 11 or 1.30 and 3.30, and those happen to be David's nap times. So anyway, if you hear a lawnmower in the background, that's happening, and we're just going to deal with it and try and press on. I have a little bit of a cold, so bear with me, um, and this video is the July favorites video. So I'll post this in the very beginning of August, and so this is a look back of my favorite products for the month of July. I have a good variety of stuff um, to talk about today, but I want to start with the Oribe Gold Lust Transformative Mask. Um, and this is a very softening leave-in treatment. And you know what? One of the things I really liked about it, I like Oribe products. I don't use a ton of them. Um, I discovered Oribe through Birchbox, but their text uh, texturizing spray, it's a dry shampoo, is wonderful. It smells lovely. What I like about this product is the back. You know how normally they're like covered in text? It says massage, indulge for as long as you want. Rinse. And that's it. And I was like, you know what? I appreciate that he's keeping, him, keeping it simple. So this is a deep conditioning mask to use, um, you know, as, as often as you want, really. It's up to you. But I would say um, once a week, max, depending on your hair needs. Um, it's hydrating and softening. It isn't heavy. Um, it smells really good. So it didn't, I wouldn't say it's my favorite mask ever. I still like the Amica Nourishing Mask um, that you can find on birchbox.com way like that is top of the line for me. Um, and this Oribe Gold Lust one is really fantastic. So um, if you're looking for a new one, I would recommend checking this one out. Some of my favorite makeup products for the month are, um, two are by Tarte and, oh, they're great. This is the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. Um, and you can see I've kind of dipped into that a little bit. It's a really velvety, you know what it reminds me of? The Sephora, mm, if you've been reading my blog for a couple years, Sephora used to make this under eye wrinkle filler. I need to use this under my eyes. Oh my gosh, how has this never occurred to me? Um, Sephora used to make an under eye wrinkle filler that was great. It was velvety and cushiony and man, it made my under eye concealer go on like a dream and it really filled in wrinkles and didn't let anything settle into fine lines. This is like almost an identical texture. I have to try this under my eyes and I will let you know how it goes. Um, this is intended to be used all over your face and it's supposed to sort of mat you out and create a really nice um, sort of canvas for putting your makeup on. Um, and I like to use it in my T-zone and kind of right at the, this part of my cheeks because that can get a little bit, my pores can get visible there. Um, and I use it on my nose and then a little bit here on my forehead, but it's really light and velvety, no breaking out issues or anything like that that can sometimes happen with primers. Um, but it is it is great and oh, I'm so excited to try it under my eyes I haven't been able to find a dupe product for that Sephora stuff in years um, But this would be the closest to it. It's really it's kind of bouncy. It's like the um, Is it Maybelline dream bounce? Blush, I think it's Maybelline. It's like a similar velvety soft texture and it's really kind of fun to play with So if you're looking for a primer that'll keep you matte and oil free that isn't heavier isn't something you need to slick all over your face this one by Tarte is really great. A couple Saturdays ago, Justin um, took David to Home Depot and was like, go do whatever you want. And so I went to Sephora, obviously. Um, that's not all that I do in my free time, but I actually needed to go get some stuff. And I picked up this Naked Flushed palette in Streak. I actually have the lipstick. <sighs> streak. I should have cleaned this before this video, but I didn't. Um, it is not the, it is not an eyeshadow palette. And I mentioned this somewhere and a few of you were confused, but Naked does make eyeshadow palettes. There's the Naked 1, 2, and 3. Not Naked, Urban Decay. Makes the Naked eyeshadow palette, and then they also make these blush bronzer highlighter palettes. And they come in a variety of colors, and this one I thought the bronzer would be sort of the lightest and most neutral. Um, I don't like bronzers to have any red or orange in them, and this doesn't at all. I think it's great. The blush is beautiful, it's like this really beautiful peachy pink, and then the highlighter has a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't use the highlighter on its own to highlight. Um, I have the Hourglass Ambient Light, Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous, 
and I like that for my highlighter but I like mixing this highlighter and blush together so what I'll do is grab um, this brush the pro angled contour brush by Sephora that took a while to come out um, and just press it into the bronzer and put the bronzer where I want it and then I use this is like one of my favorite brushes the Sonia Kashuk I think this is just a blush brush the number is 29 it's nice and fluffy and I just mix the blush and highlighter together so it makes a really sort of luminous blush um, so this is great if you're pale this street color I think is a great option for a soft pink and not too strong I, it's great for summer and I think it's gonna go beautiful as we sort of transition into fall well I think they moved on from mowing the lawns and now they're uh, you know hedging all the bushes I don't know this I'm sorry guys if I had all the time in the world I would just film this on a different day but I gotta do this when I can so the Tarte best info lash fibers I talked about in a makeup tutorial in the past couple weeks and um, so this cannot really be used alone because all it is is fibers and it's in a similar brush as a mascara wand um, but it's got these little pieces coming off of it and what you do is what I do is curl my lashes and put a coat or two of covergirl lash blush nope lash last on my lashes and then I use the Tarte's best in faux right right after I put the mascara on so when my mascara is still wet I'll use the fibers so they really stick I cannot believe how loud oh great great they've woken my son up. okay we're gonna try and continue here um, so these fibers are great for adding a little bit of thickness and length to your lashes and they aren't spidery um, they don't fall off during the day. If you've never tried a lash fiber situation, um, I would just get this and add it to the mascara that you already love instead of investing in a kit because you can kind of see if you like the fibers because it's different and it takes a little bit of precision with putting it on and making sure you're not just having fibers going everywhere. Um, but once you get the hang of it and figure out the right combination of mascara to fiber, you may find that it adds a lot of length and curl to your lashes. Um, I love it. This is an essential every day for me. So I highly, highly recommend. I think it's pretty apparent that I enjoy neutral nail colors. And I picked these up at the store um, a couple weeks ago and I love them. I, I've never used them. It's Essie's Limousine. So it's like limousine, but it's limo-scene. And it's a really pretty sheerish cream with maybe a slightly pink undertone. And then OPI's Don't Bossa Nova Me Around. And this I have on my nails right now, and it's got a little bit more, if you compare to the two, this one has a little bit more pink, and this one has maybe a little bit more gray slash very faint lavender undertone. Um, both the formulas are great. I like SE and OPI nail polishes. I still love Vinylux as well. I like trying all different kinds of nail polishes, but these are two of my favorite neutral polishes. For a fun pop of color that I've been enjoying this past month, I've used the Habit Nail Polish in Taboo, uh, the number is four. It's a really beautiful orangey red. The, the formula of this polish is, you can tell it's a, a high-end polish. It reminds me most of Zoya in that it's a little bit gel-like. You still get great coverage, but it doesn't feel... Sometimes, especially when I'm applying OPI colors, I feel like I'm using paint. And then the Habit Polish, you really feel like you're using a really nice product. Um, and it doesn't, it's a little bit more forgiving than the really thick, painty polishes. I hope that's making sense. If you use a bunch of different nail polishes, you probably know what I mean. But um, not only is the packaging adorable, but Habit has a great range of colors. Um, I think she has a really beautiful blue or lavender color that I'm dying to get my hands on. But this is perfect for summer, this kind of orangey red. So. This has been um, a definite favorite for my toes and occasionally on my fingernails this past month. So I've actually canceled my Julep subscription. Um, I did a couple reviews of my boxes and I really like Julep products. I really like their nail polishes. Um, but I canceled my subscription because I kept getting products and nail polish colors that I wasn't excited about or interested in. And 25 bucks a month is a lot for things that you don't really care about. And it was just kind of time. So. Um, I'm not getting the subscription anymore. I think it's actually a really great gift to give someone because um, it could open your eyes to maybe new nail polish colors, but I felt like I was getting a lot of colors I would never wear. So anyway, I enjoyed it while um, I had it, which was probably, I don't know, six, seven, eight months-ish, maybe even not that much. But one thing I did discover through Julep is their oxygen base 
and top coat and also their oxygen nail treatment. Now, I know what you're thinking, Kate, how on earth could a you know chem wet chemical that you paint on your nails be oxygen based? I don't know, they've done all the research, take it up with them. What I do know is the oxygen nail treatment feels great on my nails, similar to OPI's Nail Envy, which I started loving when I was in beauty school, which was when I was 16. But this oxygen base and top coat, honestly, I used this and I was like, mm, this is going to jit the next day, I know it. And I got four days of wear out of it. That might not sound like a lot to you, but for me, with the amount of dishwashing and crap I do during the day, I always chip my nail polish, which is why I always use Vinylux because that lasts me so long. So getting four days of uh, top and base coat and I used um, Essie's nail polish and now I've just repolished using the OPI color that I talked about earlier, but also this top and base coat, getting four solid days out of it was uh, awesome. So if you don't um, have your hands with wet dishes all day, you'll probably get more wear out of it. But either way, they're really nice. The base coat actually turns quite matte when you put it on, which I think contributes to why it adheres better. It's not shiny like most base coats are. Um, so two great products. You don't have to be a subscriber to Julep to shop um, their store. So if you don't want to subscribe but you want to check these out, you can just buy them online. Okay, I should probably wrap this up before the bulldozers come driving down our block and start bulldozing homes over because that's that's about the same level of noise they're making with their uh, trimmers. And listen, I don't have beef with landscape people at all. I just cannot, I mean liter literally if you knew how many times I had to roll my eyes at the timing. The timing is just, I mean it's Murphy's Law. If I mean, it'll be like one of those days where I'm like, yes, I'm walking around with David, I'm like, oh, I can just feel it. This is going to be a good nap. I'll lay him down. 30 minutes in, like, we're golden. We are golden. Guess who shows up? Landscapers. I mean, it's like to a T. So anyway, that's, that's just my explanation of that. But those are my favorite products for July. Um, if you want to see any other monthly favorites videos, you can go to my YouTube channel and I have them all organized in a little section so you can watch all of them. Um, and I'll include links to all the products if you're watching this on YouTube on the blog post. So jump on over to the Small Things blog if you want to see details of um, all the products I mentioned. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.